You know, you may have some unwanted animals on your lawn now and again, and our recent cool temps may be bringing you another one. Yep, KOCO's Danielle Dozier with what you should do if you come in contact with a skunk. Skunks have been coming out like crazy lately. We only had to drive about a mile from the station before we came across this one right here on Kelly. Here's a look at why the skunks are out more and a look at what you can do to prevent them from coming on your property. Here a skunk, there a skunk, all around the metro, and you can blame the weather. This year, we've had a remarkably cool and wet summer, I think, and so those conditions probably favor some uptick in the population. That cooler and wetter weather brings out more insects, which are the perfect food for skunks. One of the best things you can do to keep skunks from coming on your property is to make sure your lawn is mowed. Skunks, they love the brush, so you want to keep your yard clean. Also, make sure to keep that pet food inside, and you want to keep that garbage in your garbage can. If you happen to get sprayed by one, mix one quart of 3% hydrogen peroxide, one fourth cup baking soda, and one teaspoon liquid detergent in a large open container and use immediately. Do not store. This will get rid of the problem rather than tomato sauce, which simply just masks the smell. If you have a problem with skunks on your property, there's a list of wildlife trap agents that will help. You can find it on our website, KOCO.com. Reporting in Oklahoma City, meteorologist Danielle Dozier, KOCO 5 News. All right. Well, I think she found the skunk.